Hello, today a noob does breathalyzer vending machines, aka tipsy tester. So this is one, the next one I currently have in my office. I'm going to be replacing one that's out in the bar with this one because the credit card machine stopped working on that other one, but I'll talk about that more later. These are from a company called Breathalyzer in Every Bar. You can find them at breathalyzerineverybar.com. I'll link to them in the description. But it's pretty, pretty great, simple machine. It has a screen here, as you can see, rotating through some images. That's great because you can have ads, you can sell ad space on your machines. I haven't sold any yet, but the idea is you pitch smaller companies like used car dealerships. I was thinking some DUI lawyers, maybe activity places like escape rooms. You pitch them. Hey, you can advertise on my vending machines or my breathalyzer vending machines in these bars for $50 a month. Then that way, not only do you have the revenue from people using the breathalyzer, you also have the revenue from the ad space. So that's pretty cool. It does have a credit card reader right here, as well as coin mech over here to take coins. And then down here at the bottom, is straws that they use to blow in there. So it's very simple. If they're paying with quarters, it only accepts quarters, and if they're paying with quarters, it's one dollar. If they're paying with cards, it's two dollars because you do gotta cover the transaction fee that the payment gateway charges you. And it's been fun so far. Hasn't made a ton of money yet, but I just started. I went with breathalyzers in every bar because they not only sell you the machines, have warranty on them, but they also find locations for you. So I didn't have to find any of the bars that my machines are in. I didn't have to install them. Breathalyzer in every bar did all that for me, so it's great. The machines did cost $2,500, so $2,500 a piece, which is a lot of money to make up. And I believe now you have to buy a package of six of them. So it's not the cheapest investment, but it's super easy. The only things you have to worry about is refilling the straws if they run out and it holds like 500 straws at a time. And then also collecting the quarters. And that's all you have to worry about. There is a keyway on this side that you open up. This thing opens up, the straws go down in there, the quarters come out of there. Pretty simple, like I said, pretty fun. I'll show you here. All you do is you touch the screen, say what you want to pay with. We're going to pay with coins. We'll go ahead and insert coins here. One, two, three, four. Now it's time to take a straw. I already have one. Stick it here in the hole, like so. Blow into it. And then you get your blood alcohol level. Very cool. So like I said, very simple, very fun. And people have been using it, using my machines and enjoying them. There is concerns about legality of this and if you're hold liable for Let's say your machine blows a zero like that, and the person drives and they're actually drunk. The website says you're not liable for anything. But once again, it might not be for everybody. You might want to cover yourself. But that's what the website says. They have some great FAQs on there if you have more questions. But for me, I can tell you there is a small fee each month for warranty coverage. Very small. You have to pay that. There's also a small donation fee that you have to do to a charity of your choice. I believe they have three or four charities you can choose from. I chose the firefighter charity. You have to pay that every month. And then you have the payment gateway monthly fee. So those are the recurring fees that you have to pay. They're fairly cheap. I don't think altogether it costs more than... $55 for me, maybe $60, all those fees together. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Like I said, it's been fun so far. It hasn't been a huge money maker, but they're already in bars. And the bars locations are not super high end, not super low end, about middle of the road bar grill type restaurant bars, if you want to call them that. And they do a great job finding them. You should be able to pick specific ones from a list they provide. If you don't like them, they'll find others. But yeah, I just want to share this real quick. I'm just getting into it, a new thing to try this year. And hopefully it works out for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be talking more about these, seeing how it goes in the future. Until then, have a great one.